Hey folks, Jason here with another Monday.com tips and tricks video. In this video, I wanna talk about the number one complaint I get about Monday.com, and that is that it doesn't handle recurring tasks very well. First, I'm gonna go through what's already built into Monday.com and show you why it might work for some specific scenarios and why it really isn't all that great for some uh, power users. And I'm gonna show you how to set up truly recurring tasks that allow you to keep historical data like updates and files uh, right on hand. So let's get into it. First, uh, let me show you the built-in automation that Monday.com already has in place. So if you go to the Automate section, you stay in the Automation Center and click here on the Recurring category, we'll have three recurring automations that are built in, and this one here is the one that we really care about. So what it does is that you give it a time period, so let's say monthly on the 1st at 8 a.m., and tell it to create an item. So here you can have, let's say, task number one, and then it creates the item for you on the first of the month. So one major problem about this is volume of tasks. So if you have a few recurring tasks, this approach might work just fine, but let's say you have 50 or 100 or 400 or more tasks on a board, you would have to manually create this automation for each one of these tasks that you want to be recurring. So it's just really not, as, it's not feasible, it's just too much work. So another major problem about this is historical data. So let's say you updated the task with updates and comments, files that you need to keep front and center. Uh, if you use this automation, a new task is gonna be created to you uh, for you on the first of the month. And you'd have to basically jump back and forth between this new one and the old one that has all the information. So again, not quite that useful. Um, another little gripe of mine is that here when you create an item, say you set, let's say you have a date column on your board. Um, if you were to say, well, today we're recording on the 19th and I wanted this task to be created on the 1st and I want it to be done by the 20th. So you can set it up here, um, but every time this automation runs on the 1st of each month, this date here is not gonna change. It's not gonna change for November 20th. It's not gonna change for December 20th when it runs the next times. It's just gonna stay October 20th. So then you'd have to set up another automation to push your dates uh, forward, which is possible, but again, a lot of work and not quite that useful. So that's how the built-in automation works. Um, it might be useful for very simple scenarios where date tracking maybe isn't all that important. Uh, but anyway, in my, in my opinion, this built-in automation isn't all that useful. So I wanna get into um, how to create truly recurring tasks. So I built a very simple demo board here. And in order for recurring tasks to work, you're gonna need a regular status column. You're gonna need a recurring status column and you're gonna need a date column. So in my status column, I have some regular labels just to mark it as done or not. In my recurrence, I have three different labels to mark different periods just for demo purposes. And in the date, well, obviously it's just a date. So I'm gonna set all these tasks over to October 1st just for presentation. Okay, so let's go build these automations and so you can see how they uh, react. So in your automation, you're gonna create a custom automation and we're gonna go when status changes, you're gonna select your regular status. Let's say when status changes to done. And then we're gonna add another layer. We're gonna go if status of your recurrence is daily. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the date by one day. And also we're gonna change the status, your regular status back to, let's say, working on it. So we're gonna create this automation. And because we have three different statuses, we have daily, weekly, monthly, we're gonna go back and we're gonna save a bit of time and we're gonna click here and duplicate this automation. We're gonna change this daily to weekly, push the due date by one week, we're gonna set that and create the automation. And we're gonna do it one last time for the monthly and push it by one month and there we go so those are your automations it's pretty simple and let's have a demo on how it works so let's say here we have my first task which is a daily recurrence so if i set it to done this should be switching over to october 2nd there you go and it switches back to working on it and if we go done here on weekly we'll push it by a week and if we go on monthly, it'll push it by a month. 
Now, like I was saying earlier, uh, you might have some comments in here. You might have some files that you shared. Here we have a file column. If you used the built-in automation by monday.com, it would have created a whole new task, and this wouldn't have followed in the new task. It would just stay in the old one. So if you wanted some information to stay up front and center, this is the way to do it. So you can see that the file is here. The comments would stay as well. So it's as simple as that. Um, now, maybe there's some columns information here that you don't want uh, shared. Maybe this is not relevant for your whole team to see. So what you can do is you can hide this recurrence. To learn how to do that properly, I'll link to my previous uh, video about hiding and uh, showing sensitive information. So there you have it. That's how you create a recurring task in monday.com. It's very, very simple. Thanks for listening. If you like some more content like this, please subscribe. All right, see you next time.